This is a demonstration of a mode meter application which can process PMU data in a decentralized architecture to estimate the modes present in the power system. So this is the uh, model running in the real time and you can see the voltage RMS values and you can see the oscillation clearly here and what we are looking at is a normal or you can say inter area oscillation of around 0.41 hertz and post oscillation at around 1.7 hertz so now I'm going to start the application here So first we'll see the PRL application which enables the uh, mode meter application to receive data stream uh, from the PDC into the lab view. So the IP address port and uh, PMU data stream device ID is uh, mentioned here. You can also see I had made an output in my name and I was taking the desired values which I wanted to take. To stream it to the application which I was running and you can see here I'm getting all these four uh, phaser streams and now I would like to run the application in a centralized mode and I'm changing the order of uh, the estimator so I put the order 4 here and I'm running it in a centralized mode and it will save the data in buffer like it will give estimates only after it has 2000 samples of data so we need to wait for that time So as you see we have uh, four different windows, ambient central, ambient distributed, ERA central and ERA distributed. Also we have a window which shows the value of the signal which we are receiving. It's mentioned phases here but actually it shows the analog value of the sig signal which are, we are acquiring. And we also can plot the spectrum, we can see the spectrum besides it. So now you can see we are getting the values and as you can see it is one of the channel it is one of the PMUs and um, prob most probably it is the PMU uh, number 4 which you can see the spectrum channel at below and uh, we are taking the voltage angle difference between uh, different combination of the PMUs. And as we are taking voltage angle difference, we can see we can uh, identify here both the modes in our Indian central estimation. So this is how we select the voltage angle difference. We have in the array we need to select which two points uh, we have chosen to select the difference between. So we have to select for uh, each stream we have to select two PMUs in the array. So you can clearly see the application is estimating an oscillation at 0.4 Hz and then another the fourth one is at 1.7 Hz which is also confirmed by the spectrum. And now we can go move over to decentralized uh, architecture and now I'm also changing the ARMA order for all of the uh, different uh, channels because now it will be processed differently all the PMU signals will be processed individually so I have changed the uh, AR and MA order for those uh, estimators so now you can see we can uh, identify the modes here at around 0.41 Hz and uh, frequency around 1.7 Hz.
the second mode at 1.7 hertz So in the settings tab, we can do all sorts of settings. We can decide on the uh, order of the est estimator. We can also uh, try different orders and see the effect of this on the estimator's efficiency and uh, accuracy. So if we increase the order of ARMA processor processing tool, we will see that we'll Try to the tool will try to fit in some extra modes which are not uh, present in the system. We can also choose the measurement which signal we are using to feed the estimator. Previously, I was using voltage angle difference. Now I'm shifting it to voltage magnitude. And when I do this, I need to remove the other element from the array because in magnitude we need only one element the only PMU which will uh, whose voltage magnitude will be considered so I'm uh, changing the voltage angle difference to voltage magnitude and in the array I'm selecting only one point instead of two which I was taking for voltage angle difference So you can do all kind of changes using the settings tab. Now I have shifted back to centralized mode, and you see the decentralized uh, light has gone off. And now um, I have moved to ambient central. It, I'm now increasing the order. So this is how the application works. In this mm, test, the there was no transient behavior and due to any other external factor so we have not tested the ERA central or ERA distributed here but uh, we have done centralized and uh, decentralized for ambient data so now you can you can rec this this uh, all the modes have been uh, recorded the, all the estimates have been recorded here and we can process the recorded data to analyze the efficiency of efficiency of the mode meter application. So this is the data which was stored. It has all the estimates, and we can use this data in our uh, analysis.